Welcome back friends. In this tutorial, you will learn what is the use of dsum function in Excel. First, let's understand the data and requirement. Here I have a database of date-wise quantity sold for different products in different stores. The requirement is to dynamically calculate the total based on the condition given here. For example, total quantity sold of refrigerator in store E. When I change the product or store, the quantity sold should auto-update here. In this case, we can use the dsum function. Let's see what Excel says about this function. dsum adds the numbers in the field or column of records in the database that match the conditions you specify. dsum function has three parameters. Database is the source data from which you are trying to fetch the result. Field is the column number or name where your values to be added is given. Criteria is the condition based on which you need to calculate the total. Let's apply the dsum function here in G7 cell. Press is equal to type dsum, open parentheses. In database, select the source table. In field, put the column number where the quantity is given, which is the column number 4. Alternatively, you can also put here column name, which is sales quantity. While putting column header name, put it inside double quotes. Here, I will use the column number, which is 4. In the criteria, select the criteria given here in F4 to G5 range. Close parentheses and hit enter. Here you see, the result is given as 62 units. This is the total of quantity sold of refrigerator in the story. Let's change the store E to store B and see the result. The result auto changed to 28 unit. Similarly, if you change the product name, result will change. So, this is all about the use of dsum function in Microsoft Excel. If you need this sample data file to practice this function, you can download it from the video description below. Thank you so much for watching this video.